Uh, Super Paper Mario, the best installment in the series so far. Okay, that's not true, but that's what I'd like to say. With each new installment in a series, you should be able to say that. For Super Paper Mario, that's not the case. This, w this review will explain why, but also explain why it's a good game standing alone. Now here's something I don't get. We got Paper Mario for the N64, the first one. It's an RPG. Everyone loves that one. Then, for later, they came out with the Ga GameCube version, which is just as good and also an RPG game. But then they came out with Super Paper Mario, and no, you didn't guess it, this one isn't an RPG this time. And not everyone loved that one. Gee, there's one simple phrase that comes to mind when I say this stuff. Why fix what isn't broken? We got great stuff. You got great stuff out of the previous two games, and everyone loved it, so why change it? When you th when I think of Paper Mario, I think of a great RPG game. So, but when I think of Super Paper Mario, it's just so much different. I, I, I just baffles me how Nintendo could just make a decision like that without consulting the general public. It's just a weird thought to me. The game starts off with a Princess Peach marrying Bowser, which is being held by Count Black, the main villain for this game. Then, it, it creates this thing called uh, the Chaos Heart, which, well, is what's being created in that picture there. Then, Mar and you, then you find out that Count Black is planning to use this for evil. Now, then you get then Mario gets transported to Flipside, where Merlin tells him about this and about how there's a void in the sky. And stuff like that. So then he gives you a thing called, well, I'll get to that later. Um, you go to these seven worlds, which the doors should be uh, up right now, and uh, you go through four quarter chapters. And at the fourth of each quarter chapter, there is a boss. Um, then every time you defeat a boss, you get a pure heart. Wait, pure heart? Now I made this point in the beginning of the walkthrough, but I don't think I touched up on it that much. In Paper Mario 1, you rescue Star Spirits. Then, Paper Mario 2, you have Crystal Hearts. Seven of them. And then, you move on to Super Paper Mario, and eight pure hearts? That really doesn't make much sense to me. Well, anyways, continue on. Once you collect all eight pure hearts, you fight up against Count Black and save the day as usual. Uh, just a regular day in the land of Mario, of course. Up until now, I've only been talking about how Super Paper Mario stands up against the other Paper Mario games, but I haven't really talked about how it is by itself. It's actually a really good game for a uh, platformer, even though uh, Super Paper Mario's aren't usually platformers, it's still really, really good. Um, the 3D, 2D thing is just something you really, really couldn't put into the other two Paper Mario games just because of how they work, and I think they incorporated that perfectly. Um... Yeah, that's my point on it, I guess you could say, but, you know, just some things, like the picture that I have up right now, is like, uh, they incorporate, like, old levels, like, that's, uh, level 1-2 right there, that, uh, they're copying, well, not really copying, because it's their own thing, but, you know, uh, just a little bit of a flashback, there's also some remix music, I think, I'm not sure, I don't know, I really like that, personally, so... Yeah, Super Paper Mario is a game that I like for sure. And if you want to figure out how much I like it, keep watching for about the next little while. <laughs> and uh, you'll find out what I think the rating is. So, without further ado, let's get to it. The final. I give this game a 7.5 because I honestly just don't think that... It can hold its ground when held up against other Mario games. I mean, the other Paper Mario games, at least. So, for all you guys who really like the game, I do too. It's just, when you compare it against the facts, it just doesn't win. So, I hope you enjoyed this, and I can't wait to do Super Luigi Galaxy 2, which I will be calling Super Mario Galaxy 2 for the review. Alright, bye!